Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to tonight's concert. Um, it's my pleasure to um, welcome to you to the second of our two concerts tonight in a night we're um, calling Be a Light, um, with songs featuring themes of light and sun and daylight. Man, I, it seems like I can't remember the last time we've seen the sun more than two days in a row. Um, and so this is a good time of year for it, I think. Um, so before we start, I'd like to introduce a few important people who are very, very special in the musical lives of all of these kids up here. Um, and uh, if they're in the house, if anyone is near the house right now um, that I list, if you could just step out and wave so we can recognize you, we would appreciate it. So first I want to introduce teaching at Pinewood and Sandy Hill, Mrs. Lamar, if you're around, give us a wave. Otherwise we're gonna be yeah. Uh, and uh, teaching part-time at El Puente and Rosewood this year, if you're still in the house, uh, Mrs. DeBoer, will you give us a wave when you're still here? Uh, teaching at Rosewood and Sandy Hill, Ms. Van Houten, amazing director, by the way. And uh, teaching at El Puente and Bursley, Mrs. Willie. And at the ECC and Bowerwood, Mrs. Schrems. And my two colleagues at the high school, um, you know him, you look up to him. He's Mr. Carmichael, give him a hand. Uh, and uh, Miss McMurray, who was a student teacher last fall, and we just liked her so much, we said, hey, we're going to hire you for another rest of the year, so that's pretty cool. All right, so give her a hand, Mr. Curry. <laughs> and before we go on, I also want to recognize our three outstanding accompanists who work with these students, not just musically, but like everything, really. So um, if Mrs. Allie is near, would you please step on and give us a wave? <laughs> Who's at the piano right now? Uh, and Miss Harris, if you're around, Miss Harris, uh, come out and see her. We have a couple short items where we could use your help, and then we're going to get this ball rolling. Um, first, thank you in advance for your assistance um, with uh, respectful applause and uh, acknowledgement of all these students' hard work tonight. We really appreciate that um, and silence during performances. If you have a device with you tonight, um, if you could make sure that's silent, that helps us out a lot. And if you have the brightness turned up on it and you're checking it for things, make sure that brightness is turned down during the concert. Also, if you'd like to take some pictures, tr please try to make sure that flash and that light on the front of it turns off as well. Right. Um, if you have young children with you, uh, it would help us out a lot if you make sure they're supervised and they don't go through the aisles or, or cry out or anything like that. Um, and uh, also, these spots here with the chairs on either side, that, that's part of our performance area. So if you could avoid those, that would help us. So thanks again for coming to support us tonight. Uh, we're going to get things started over here with Arietta and Belcanto. Um, who are going to sing a, uh, a very spicy arrangement of uh, a folk tune called Ake and Drum. All right? I know, spicy. All right? And then Concert Choir is going to sing uh, Weep All My Eyes and Be the Change. And then Male Chorus is uh, going to sing My Girl. And speaking of Male Chorus, high school guys from Male Chorus, will you go ahead and make that switch right now to Concert Choir before we get started? All right, unless I'm forgetting anything, without further ado, we're going to start with Ariana Belcanto. Uh, and we have a guest uh, instrumentalist with us today. Her name's in the program, and would you help me welcome her? Thank you. Kate Steenstra. I had a moment. Give it up for Kate. Thank you. <laughs>
As this next stage change transpires behind me, I just wanted to uh, give a couple words here about the next couple pieces that you'll be hearing. Um, so as, as they change risers, uh, just reflect on the, the fact that students seem to learn as much or more from their peers as they do from the classes that they're a part of each day. And, and this concert brings that learning together. Watching them rehearse yesterday afternoon was just part of that process. And it just brought to mind what an opportunity these kids are taking advantage of being a part of this program. Um, the group that's about to sing behind me, the, these are the 10th through 12th grade singers, um, and they recently got back from a trip, uh, many of them went on a trip to, um, let's see, we went to MSU for a little while, and we went uh, down to Cleveland as well, um, and just got to uh, travel together, um, got to perform at two different universities, went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, performed at a high school, and then at the very last day we uh, played and, and had fun at uh, Kalahari Resort and Water Park. So just a really cool experience. The two pieces that you're about to hear were two of the pieces that we performed on the trip. So you'll get to hear those two pieces and all the feedback that we came home from and all the successes that we got to share um, on the Jensen, uh, 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 for the Jensen Choir program. Um, this the first piece is, uh, oh actually, before we hear those two pieces, we've got the acapellas here um, that are gonna perform two sea shanties for you. Um, the person in the middle, Josh, would you raise your hand? Josh is uh, kind of taking over the lead as a student conductor for this uh, group this year. Um, and he took both of these pieces that he heard the longest John's perform, um, found some music for it online, and then uh, rearranged it for our group. So these, this is uh, Santiana and Bones, is the, Bones in the Ocean. Sea. 
I remember the fallen, do they think of me? When their bones in the ocean forever will be. When at last before my ghostly shipmates I stand, I shed a small tear from my home upon land. Though their eyes speak of depths filled with struggle and strife, their smiles below say I don't owe them my life. As the souls of the dead fill the space of my eyes, and my boat listed over and tried to capsize. I'm this far from drowning, this far from the sea. I remember the living, do they think of me? When my bones in the ocean forever will be. Now that I'm staring down at the darkest abyss, I'm not sure what I want, but I don't think it's this. As my comrades call to stand fast and forge on, I make sail for the dawn till the darkness has gone. As the souls of the dead live forever in my mind, as I live all the years that they left me behind, I'll stay on the shore but still gaze at the sea. I remember the fallen and they think of me, for our souls in the ocean together will be. I remember the fallen and they think of me, for our souls in the ocean together a week and, um, and then uh, do concerts and continue on with their, with their singing with the tenor bass group. So it's really, really fun to get to work with that group. Next up is Diaz Ire and Road Home.
Well, in addition to sharing the stage with these lovely, kind, wonderful, sorry I'm in your way. <laughs> yeah, we can pass right through this. I'm not going to be obstructive whatsoever. Um, uh, in addition to sharing the stage with these awesome kids, um, we, uh, as a music staff, we also get to spend some time together, whether it's meetings or whether it's uh, evening activities. Uh, we actually like each other, which is kind of a cool thing. <laughs> Um, it's kind of crazy, um, but uh, I mean, we're, we're music teachers, so that means that we're getting together. Oftentimes, we're making music, and, and I feel like that helps us build a community um, amongst our staff. Um, one that I feel like makes me more willing and more interested and more devoted to going into work because I work with these colleagues. Um, and uh, since we've uh, kind of combined so many different age levels, we've got 7th and 8th grade, we've got ninth grade, we've got 10th, 11th, 12th grade, we have all these age levels, we thought this would be a perfect time to show that regardless of your age, regardless of um, where you go in your life or what you do, music can still be a part of your life, you can still make music with people. So this is Here, Come, Here Comes the Sun.
This is a piece from the musical Bright Star, and uh, really a just positive message, but also you know you have to go through some stuff in order to really feel that. So your sun's gonna shine. so much for spending your evening with us. Whether it's the light of day or night, the sun, the moon, or the light to guide your way home, or the kind of light that brings hope and banishes the darkness, we hope we've illuminated your evening and brought you some joy tonight. Thank you again for spending your evening with us, and uh, keep on singing. Uh, we're going to start dismissing students, small group by small group, because it's a big mess of people up here. 
Um, and uh, we're going to send them around the back so you can meet them in the lobby. Thanks again for spending your time with us. Have a great night.